With Deep Six introduction, the AI world has emerged into a new era of innovation and opportunity. The release of Deep Seek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake up call for our industries. Recently, Nvidia reported a staggering $600 billion loss, primarily driven by investor concerns over the competitive threat posed by Deep Seek, a Chinese AI startup that has developed cost effective AI models. We will be doing a separate dedicated video on DeepSeek and how DeepSeek is changing the world. But this video is all about AI career path. How all of these recent changes in the field of AI and generative AI are going to impact the jobs in the field of AI, especially in 2025. We will be explaining about that. My name is Satyajit Patnaik with over 14 years of industrial experience. I am here to help you out in your journey of AI. In case you want to become an AI engineer or a generative AI engineer, or you want to leverage generative AI in your own domain, whether you're coming from a front end background or a back end background or a HR background, any kind of background, how do you leverage generative AI, especially in 2025? I'm also going to answer you whether there are enough jobs in the field of AI, especially in 2025, and what are the latest changes that are happening. Stay tuned because all of these questions will be answered in this video. Now talking about AI. First of all, a lot of things are changing in the space of AI and generative AI. 2024 was the year of trial and error. Many companies were doing, um, when you go to shopping malls, what do you do? you do window shopping, right? Recently in 2024, many companies were actually doing window shopping with respect to generative AI. Many companies were trying to see how generative AI can help their businesses. But 2025 is all about ROI, return on investment. Companies have done POCs, companies have explored generative AI. Now how generative AI can give them back the business, give them back the dollars, that they're investing. How can generative AI be helpful with respect to monetary aspects? That's all about 2025. And we have new, new topics around generative AI, which is agentic AI, CAGs, many other things are there. Now, with all of these advancements, how do you enter the job of, how do you become an AI engineer? How you enter the AI domain, especially in 2025. Let's try to understand from a layman's point of view. This video is going to be very big. I'm going to explain in a very layman's term. So in case you are interested in this topic, you need not have to explore many other videos on YouTube channel. This video is going to help you in all aspects. If this video does not serve the purpose, you feel free to reply me back in the comment section and I will try to come back with an answer. Now let's try to understand the market, okay? First of all, are there enough jobs for AI? Yes, there are. But the job market has drastically changed from data science to AI. Many companies who were hiring data scientists or machine learning engineers or uh, kind of uh, research analysts, these kind of companies have changed their job portfolio to AI. If you go to LinkedIn or various other platforms, you will see more jobs around AI engineer, generative AI engineer, LLM engineer, prompt engineer, and so on, because many companies are actually going to use generative AI. Now, how do you become one? There are two types of students that usually reach out to me. Number one is somebody who has zero knowledge on AI, who has zero knowledge on machine learning. And number two category is somebody who already has X amount of experience into certain field, let's say front-end engineering. They already have five years of experience. They want to quickly explore generative AI and see how Gen AI tools can actually fasten their work. There are two categories of people. If you are falling in the first category, you want to become a data scientist or a ML engineer or a AI engineer, then you have to take the first career path, which is from scratch, you have to learn Python, SQL, statistics, machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, transformers, generative AI, deployments, and then you have to practice at least two, two projects in each domain. For example, machine learning, two projects, deep learning, two projects, NLP, two projects, generative AI, two projects. 
you cannot directly jump as a generative AI engineer because if you jump as a generative AI engineer, there are already some expectations from the company when the company is hiring, right? If you join them as a generative AI engineer, but you don't know machine learning, that creates a very bad impression in the company because companies expect that if you are a generative AI engineer, you must already know about the basics of machine learning and NLP. Nobody is going to teach you how a BERT works. Nobody is going to teach you how a transformer works or how lemmatization works. You should be already be knowing about all the NLP basics, transformers, machine learning, even before you jump into generative AI. Now, the second category of people are those who quickly want to add generative AI as their secondary or tertiary skills. Their primary skills is front end. They want to leverage generative AI and they want to add those are their secondary and tertiary skills. In that case, you should only focus on generative AI. You need not have to worry about how open AI models work. What is the background of it? Are they transformers? Uh, is it an encoder only architecture or a decoder only architecture? Doesn't really matter for them. They only know how things work, so RAG works, give the data, blah, blah, blah. And you know, you are creating an endpoint from your front end, from your front end, you are consuming the endpoint and you are calling the open AI uh, model or maybe Gemini model or any other model. So two different career paths are there. If you're looking at the second one, there are generative AI programs on my Udemy channel. You can explore. It should cost you around 499 or 449. I don't know. It's a dynamic pricing, right? So you can explore that. But if you are looking at the first option where you want to groom yourself from scratch, then you have to uh, take the AI career path. And I, I do have multiple, uh, multiple courses on that. But before talking about the course, let me just quickly tell you what are the different models, right? I have already talked about the models, but let me emphasize on those models. So imagine you are a complete beginner, have no idea about data science or AI. You want to jump into AI in 2025. You want to become either a machine learning engineer or a AI engineer. Python must. Python as a programming skills, very important. Statistics is very important. SQL and understanding of databases are also important because eventually when you join a company, you will be working with databases, right? After that, machine learning is very important. Time series analysis and forecasting, deep learning is important. Computer vision is not that important, but if you know at least the basics of OCR and how edge detection works, little bit about that, enough. Transformers, very important, generative AI and deployment. Everything is important and the total span of uh, the study span has to be around four to six months. You have to dedicatedly give four to six months to study everything. Now the question is where to study. There are many, many courses online available. Different companies selling at different price tags, 60,000, 80,000, 5,000, 10,000. I have two different programs for this entire AI uh, career path. And two programs are for two different type of people, right? Somebody who can afford, somebody who can't afford. Somebody who can afford the entire price of this program is around uh, 599. Okay, 5999 INR, it's available on Zep Analytics where you also get 24x7 chat support, mock interviews, resume preparation help, everything from me. So it's basically like a program with job assistance. No job guarantee, but we will be helping you out in your job uh, searching process. I will be there in your entire job searching process. I will somehow give you some leads, but I will not be able to give you a you know, job on plate, but I will be in your journey. And that's going to be at five people nine. The link will be in the description. Somebody who does not want to spend a lot, the same program replica is available on Udemy. Udemy is dynamic pricing. You can eventually get it at four to four double nine or four four nine or five double nine. And uh, yeah, the only drawback with Udemy program is I do not support uh, my students if there are some questions you post it on Udemy and I will answer but there is no dedicated support so one is with support one is without support and that's the difference between two programs 599 and 499 there is a huge difference but you have to decide accordingly but as compared to other programs in the market 
yeah this is way way cheaper than various other programs right now talking about jobs do we actually have jobs in the field of ai in the field of data science well data science jobs are decreasing to be very honest okay but so if data science jobs are decreasing how about ai ai jobs are increasing because companies have changed the terminology 2023 they were hiring data scientists senior data scientists lead data scientists now they have changed the tags to ai engineers senior ai engineers and lead ai engineers if you go to linkedin right now just search ai or ml you will get enough jobs lot of applicants are there uh, but there are enough jobs trust me right now in hong kong the job market is not great where i am right now but honestly speaking when i was in india i was in india from 24th december till end of january within a span of 35 days i was able to get four offers i'm not lying i'm i'm very uh, open on this i got four offers eventually i did not join any of them because i was clear that i have to go back to hong kong at least for next couple of hours a uh, couple of years stay in hong kong and then come back to india so i was like window shopping but it was a great experience i got four offers so there are enough jobs in india not just for my profile for freshers for different other profiles as well so that's it so the space of ai is changing a lot especially with respect to generative ai my program around generative ai might not have 100% contents because everything is changing every day now we have agentic ai then cags then deep seek is there multiple other things are there but if you want to jump into this domain you have to learn every day data science ml dl there is a curriculum that was there 5 years back that is there right now currently also but especially in generative ai the curriculum is changing a lot so that's all about it i hope i answered a lot of questions in this video am i forgetting anything i'm not pretty sure but in case you feel that i'm forgetting something i should have answered something else <coughs> feel free to leave a comment i will definitely reply you back in case you want to connect with me all of my social media profiles are available in the description some of you might also know my whatsapp number which is publicly provided <laughs> feel free to reach out in case you have any questions i will be able to answer you in case certain questions that you are posting in the comment section i am not able to answer probably i will create a shorts so that i can answer you there right that's it see you in the next video till then bye